How's it going guys? I'd like to talk to you today about a uh, new custom Kydex sheath that I got today. Uh, it's made by Julio Diaz of the710customsheaths.com. Uh, if you don't know Julio, he's been making custom sheaths for about five years now. Started off as um, mostly an, an eBay seller. Um, he joined bladeforums.com and from there he was able to expand his customer base. Uh, he was able to expand it so much that K-Bar Knives um, actually commissioned him to make sheaths for them. So you can actually buy a 710 custom sheaths directly from K-Bar, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to switch the camera around and we'll take a, a better look at it. Alright, taking a closer look at this sheath. It has a tidy brown front, black back has the Kydex belt loop and also has the optional leather dangler um, which can be removed just uh, unscrew this slide the d-ring down hang it from your belt right here um, this is also set up for a blade tech tech lock um, but with this setup I don't see why you don't want that um, has some pretty serious lock up right there right around the becker handles um, it also has the secondary retention right here, uh, which is recommended. It's not needed, but you know, it's better be safe than sorry. Um, one thing I really liked when I, when I got it in the mail, that these bolts right here are Phillips heads. So it's pretty standard. You can use any Leatherman, any uh, Swiss Army knife, pretty much anywhere you can find a, a Phillips head uh, screwdriver. It makes it really handy. You don't need any special Torx bits or anything like that. Um, this is the optional dangler. Like I said before, uh, and talking to Julio, he was saying that this is um, a much better option for this style sheath. This is his uh, spine sheath. Namely because of the way that the BK4 pops out of it. Spine first. Um, if you want this option, you can uh, pick the spine option on the drop drop down menu when you order. And of course, the uh, edges are finished off very well. Not sure how he does that, but it's pretty beautiful. Give some close ups. You also notice that uh, my BK4 has red liners in it. Um, I wasn't expecting the sheath to work with those those liners but it hasn't been been an issue. It pops in and out fine. Right. With this dangler setup it's really easy to put on your belt. Just unsnap the two snaps. Slide it underneath your belt. Hold it over the front. Two snaps and it's secure. There are two things that really sold me on the dangler setup. Uh, for one, I, I live in Maine. Um, it gets pretty cold from like late September on. Um, so most of my outdoor knife use is with a sweatshirt or a long jacket. Um, with the sheath it allows me to have the handle of the knife below my belt. Um, when I use knives with a nice high ride, they're great for in the, in the summer. You know, it's not slapping against your leg, but when you put a cover garment on, yeah, they're really hard to get to. Um, nine times out of ten, you can't see when you're resheathing the knife, and it's it kind of creates a safety risk. Um, this design, you know, eliminates that. I, I can see what I'm doing. It's below my jacket. I don't have to worry about it. Um, the second thing that I really like about it is that it swings freely, which allows you to unsheath and sheath the, the knife pretty easily. Snap it, pull it out, do your work, put it back in, click in place, double snap, and you're ready to move, move on. Another thing I really like about the sheath is this is pretty much all USA made stuff. The leather work is hand cut hand dyed, hand punched, 
by Julio. Um, the leather uh, is made out of uh, Tracy, California. All the hardware is American. Uh, it's made in America for an, an American made knife. Sheath also has a 710's cool skull and crossbones logo as well as a pretty subdued 710 um, carved in the back. It's not all of the, the front, a big banner, which I really like. It's nice and subdued. She thought also has um, very nicely spaced eyelets, finished off very well. Um, it does have a drain hole in the bottom, right here. Uh, one thing that I did not like um, until I figured out why this is, uh, there's a little bit of a rattle coming from right here. Um, it kind of bugged me, and then I figured out why. This sheath, as I said before, is, is the spine sheath. So you have to, you know, draw it spine first. But you also, when you put it back, you have to put it in, and the forward part of the blade actually rotates here before it snaps into place. So if this section here was overly tight, it would be a chore to get it in and out. Um, so that little bit of, of play in the sheath um, is is there for, for a reason. All right, guys. So in conclusion, um, this is a pretty awesome sheath. I feel very, very fortunate to have it. Um, the point of a sheath, as we all know, is to protect you from the knife. Um, that being said, I believe that Julio has knocked it right out of the park. Um, he makes very, very intricate and ornate designs. Um, mine is actually a pretty mundane sheath compared to some of the ones I've seen online. Uh, he makes all kinds of uh, leather loops, leather uh, wrapped kydex, which is pretty awesome. Um, he hand dyes all his leather. He can make it you know, exactly to your specs. Um, he has all kinds of different colors of kydex, some camouflage, some you know, really, really cool patterns. Um, I like more uh, plain Jane stuff. So, um, in my opinion, I got exactly what I wanted. Um, if you you guys are interested in a Kydex sheath for your Becker knife, or any knife really, um, um, look up the 710customsheaths.com and you will not be disappointed. Thank you for your time.